Hello there, welcome back to another guitar lessons. Today I thought we'd learn Floaty by Foo Fighters, one of my favourites from the first album. <laughs> may not be this the way I'm going to teach you it may not be exactly the way Dave's playing it but it's just sort of just again like with all my lessons just to give you an idea so you can sort of have fun with it it's something if it's a song you've never learned before hopefully this lesson will help so just start with this kind of thing obviously the the song does get quite there's quite a bit of distortion and gain after like the first intro bit but if you put your first thing on the seventh fret of the A string first thing on the ninth fret of the D string second thing on the eighth fret of the G string and you'll just basically play, hold that down and let this high E and the B strings ring out. And really make sure you can... Really make sure you can hear them high strings there. And, and just basically just get a nice sort of strumming pattern going. Okay, that kind of thing. So basically you get, you, if we're letting our first finger be our guide here, we're going from the seventh to the fifth to the third, and then we play this A sus two shape. Okay. So what you're doing there is you're putting your fret the D and G strings on the second fret. All strings around it remain open. All strings around that just open. So again, making sure that high E and B strings really ring out. So yeah, that's basically, it starts cleanly. If Dave's just playing it cleanly. starts cleaning and then there's a lot of distortion and, and overdrive that comes in a lot of gain comes in um, but yeah that's sort of what's being played underneath it and um, there's also this riff that's played there a couple of times before you go into sort of um, the chorus and things it's played uh, a few times throughout the song so I think it starts with a low open E and then you're doing four two one on the G string you can hit the four two or three times it's entirely up to you it's just a little riff that's in there as part of the song you can just you can just simply go four two one if you want but i think it's like open low e four two or three times on the on the g string and then two one on the g string okay then we move into the chorus So the chorus to floaty is basically power chords here. So if you go first finger on the low E string on the fourth fret, third finger on the A string on the sixth fret, and pinky on the D string on the sixth fret. Okay. And then we move from the fourth to the fifth. And then we move basically, we take this shape and we go down rooted from the A string here. So if you imagine where we've started there on the fourth fret, just move that shape down. So your first finger's now on the A string, third finger's on the um, D string, D string on the sixth fret. Okay, and your pinky there on the G string on the sixth fret. So, so. And then basically we just simply play an A5. So just fret the A string on the second fret and just hit the low open E along with that A string, so it's just... And then when that finishes, it goes back... And then you go... Back into the verse riff, and then the song basically just ends on this sort of bridge idea, which is sort of similar to the chorus, but just a little bit different. So with this bridge idea, you play the chorus through. Now this time, what you do, instead of going to that E5 like we played there, if you slide this shape down two frets to make a B power chord, 
So do a power chord root from the A. Mm. Then you do second fret to the fifth fret. Then second to the fifth again quite quickly. So you've gone. Like that, okay? So it might take a bit of practice getting that. You can do palm mutes, everything here. Okay? Then we go back to the, like, rooted from the low E string on the 4th fret. Then the E5 like before. And then back to the 4th fret. So... You can play all downstroke strums and basically all these parts again and then the song just ends on the bridge. So... So you just sort of, to get you an idea of sort of, this is all the parts you need for floaty by the way, as I say, the, the chorus and the bridge are very, very similar, they're just mixed up a tiny little bit differently, so you, so you, all together. And that's really, that's the bridge all there is to the song. So you've got the, as I say, the chorus and the bridge are very, very similar. It's just instead of going to that eight, like E5 there, we go down to a B5, up to a D here. So B to D, B to D, back to an A flat, E5, A flat, B, and that's it. And then just, and then ends with that a few times. Then back into sort of the main sort of strummy pattern to the song. Okay, and there we go. That's really all the parts you need to floaty. Like I said at the beginning of the video, it's not necessarily played exactly the way Dave plays it. It's not exactly the way maybe the whole, you know, Foo Fighters play it. But it's just how I play it. It's what gets me through the song so I can just strum along, strum along to the record and have fun. And it's, it's another great example of just like how to make a good song with nothing overly too complicated. None of the parts are too technical. There's nothing too overwhelming here. So hope this lesson's helped. Hope you, um, you know, are a fan of Floaty and I hope you enjoy this lesson and I'll see you again soon.